Hi, everyone. I'm Bob Lorenz, and this is Post Game Plus on YesNetwork.com. Well, after playing 20 straight games, then getting Monday off, the Yankees were back in action Tuesday night in Chicago, opening up a three-game series against the White Sox. Alex Rodriguez was out of the lineup, resting his sore quad and enjoying the birth of his second daughter. Jorge Posada was back behind the plate after two weeks of resting his sore shoulder, and he was catching Chen Ming Wong, who was trying to bounce back from a rough outing against the Red Sox. Helped propel the Yankees to a 9-5 victory. Johnny Damon added a three-run home run later in the game. In fact, Damon went three for five with a home run, three ribs, three runs. Abreu two for five, and it all helped Chin Ming Wong record his fourth victory. He's now four and zero, oh, and he really gutted this one out. He allowed ten hits to the White Sox over six innings, but he only allowed three runs. So good pitching and some big hitting, especially from Bobby Abreu, who talked to our Kim Jones. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it, Bobby? Go ahead, Grand Slam. It is sounds very good. I mean, I think uh, it helped the team win. I mean, I hit the ball very well over there. You know, went to the other way. The, I think the more important thing is uh, uh, we just score some runs over there, and, uh, and uh, then we win. So it feels good. Let's recreate that moment, though. First of all, were you surprised not to see a lefty come in? Well, it was uh, little, no little surprise. I know they have a hotel and the and the on the on the pan for Jeter, so. It was trying to just go, you know, trying to just get the burn ball for Jeter, you know, and uh, but uh, and I saw that I have the the chance, I have an opportunity over there, so I was, you know, trying to just prepare myself on the on the on deck circle, you know, just to, trying to just do some some damage. How was it to get that breathing room? Abreu's grand slam obviously was the go ahead. Yeah, that was a big hit, um, and uh, Bobby had a great at bat, and uh, you know, go out the opposite field, it means that your mindset is right, and you know, and then Johnny tacked on the other one, it was really nice. Yeah, you seem to, you guys seem to work. Yeah, I mean that's that's what our guys have been doing all year, you know. And and, I, and I've said all along, eventually it's going to pay off, you know. Maybe the numbers aren't where they're supposed to be right now offensively for a few guys, but they've worked hard, and eventually it'll pay off. Joe, more more fly balls than we're used to seeing from Wong, but how did he grit through this one? Well, he didn't have his great stuff tonight, and he found a way to keep him in check and keep us in the ball game and, and get a win. Um, he was not as sharp. I mean, very seldom do you ever see Chin Ming Wong at approximately 50 pitches after two innings. You just don't see that. Um, but he found a way. He battled, gave us six innings, and uh, he did a nice job. John, two home runs in as many games and a few other hits as well. Do you feel like you're heating up? Well, I, I've actually felt pretty good all uh, all season except for those uh, a couple uh, oh, very cold days in uh, New York to start the season. But uh, you know what? I just got to keep going up there, swinging the bat, and uh, hopefully uh, – the hits can come, and hopefully I can uh, help this team win a lot of games. And a quick programming reminder, don't forget to catch an all-new Joe Girardi show every Sunday. Get the mind of the manager and even ask the skipper questions at askjoe at yesnetwork.com. That's an all-new Joe Girardi show every Sunday, only on Yes. Well, the Yankees and White Sox are back at it later tonight as Mike Messina goes up against Javier Vasquez in game two of the series. Our coverage begins with a batting practice show at 7, followed by the pregame at 7.30, and then first pitch shortly after 8 o'clock. I'm Bob Lorenz. Thanks for being here, and we will see you next time on Post Game Plus.